Now I want people to hold on because you are actually going to get to meet her. I think there's no better way to convince people to pick up the phone and make a pledge, make a donation, than to actually meet one of the young people that you are going to benefit by doing so. Let me tell you a little bit about Allison before you meet her. She served as MDA's Florida State Goodwill Ambassador for the past two years, and in that role, she's represented MDA across the state at a lot of functions, including, I believe, heading all the way up to Tallahassee to see the governor. Uh, residing in St. Petersburg, this five-year-old began kindergarten at Shore Acres Elementary School. She's diagnosed with spinal muscular atrophy. And here is more of her very important story. What do you think, girlfriend? I like it. This is the first time that five-year-old Allison Kearns is on a swing. And she is loving it. <laughs> Allison's mom, Katie, brought her to NBA camp this year as sort of a preview visit. You yeah. see, Allison won't be old enough to be a camper until next summer. Our Wendy Ryan was there for this special visit. I know you're going to go to camp next year. What are you looking forward to? Playing games and having fun with my friends. Katie knew something was wrong the first year of Allison's young life. She wasn't reaching the normal milestones after birth. She wasn't uh, crawling, which you don't really, you know, think, okay, maybe she's lazy or maybe she's just a late bloomer. So you, you kind of pass it off. And, and then she wasn't pulling to a stand and she, she wasn't walking when other kids would be. At 16 months old, she was diagnosed with spinal muscular atrophy type 2 causes her muscles to grow weaker over time. The diagnosis, a complete shock to the Kearns. Every single thing that you had ever thought you were going to have, you throw it out the window and you have to start over. So there's a huge grieving process. Katie says the last few years have been especially challenging. This is the, the number one genetic killer of children under the age of two. So far this year, Allison has been rushed to the hospital six different times. During one stay, her oxygen levels dropped so much, the hospital called a code blue. The worried mom telling Wendy she didn't even know what a code blue was. I even made a joke and I said, oh, I look at everybody coming in to join the party. She said, no, 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 code blue is when, you know, we feel like, you know, we might lose her. You know, and I'm, when we lose her, doctors were able to stabilize Allison, but it's a day that Katie will never forget the day she almost lost her little girl. It's got to be scary every single time. That's my baby. Every single time. And, and I've seen a lot of kids die. Katie says the Muscular Dystrophy Association has helped her more than words can say. They understand. They, they recognize the struggles that our family goes through. They, they're there for, for moral support. Um, that's, that's, that's so comforting. And she knows that Allison can't wait for MDA summer camp. That's priceless. The fact that she gets to come here and she gets to spend an entire week uh, with friends just like her. She gets volunteers that you know want to hang out with her and want to play with her. And she gets to be away from mom and dad. You know, I'm always hovering. <laughs> Your donation to the MDA will help someone closer to you than you realize. With the Muscular Dystrophy Association, chances are, with that many diseases, you're going to know someone or know someone that knows someone. As for Allison, she knows there's kid stuff she can't do now, but she's hoping that will change. The thought of going to MDA camp next year is helping to fuel that hope. And what is it that you can't do? Well, can't, can't go and on the stadiums, like, can't go in the water. I can't do that, so. Do you hope one day you'll be able to walk? And run? Will that be cool? Yeah. Look at that beautiful smile. For all of you watching, this is Allison Kearns, and she is not just a face you see on the national telethon. She's your neighbor. She lives in St. Petersburg, and she is a great girl, and I saw you at camp. Do you remember seeing me and my little girls out there? You were rocking those canes. What did you like about camp? Well, I liked about like going to the pool and like seeing the bed, like the bed we were sleeping. Is that the first time you'd ever been to summer camp? Yes. I think I know something, a secret, that next year you are going to actually be able to spend the night there. You'll be old enough. What do you think about that? 
so we have to do stuff now by ourselves. Right, you'll have someone that'll get to help you though. Are, are you looking forward to going next year? How important is it to go to camp, Allison? Like a lot. Yeah. I saw you playing some of those games. It was like Halloween. You were rocking it. The bowling I saw you do. What was your favorite game to play? Well, hide go seek. <laughs> I love hide and go seek. Can I talk to your mom over here? You did a great job, Allison. You almost had me in tears when you said this is my baby. I mean what what I mean what else says it but that? How has MDA helped your baby? My baby. Uh, MDA was the very first organization that we that we turned to. Um, that's so when you get that diagnosis, that's just it's shocking. Yeah, shocking. Um, you don't know what to do or where to go. Uh, and I I had told a friend uh, that she had spinal muscular atrophy and and she said oh well that's one of the muscular dystrophies and she gave me the number to the local MDA and at that time I had no idea that there were 43 different diseases um, and they said well absolutely SMA um, is covered uh, under us what can we do for you and what did they do for you they, um, other than being our friend and being there for, for moral support, um, they pay every year when Allison has a, um, a malfunction or a break on her chair, they give us money for repairs. We're able to go in and see the neurologist, the same neurologist that we were paying to see. We found out we could see them for free through MDA. Um, so that's a big deal. And the next year she gets to go to camp. That yeah, makes you smile so much because yes. she I, she was so excited and had so much fun when we went on um, the special visitors day this year. And she had her own camp counselor. And it, it took me a minute to to sit back and, and let her go off on her own. And, and she was fantastic. She had the best time. Talking about it after. We talked about it for weeks and weeks. I have, had to break it to her, it's next summer. <laughs> She's going to spend the night. How hard is that going to be for you, Mom, when you have to like uh, let her go spend the night away from home? <laughs> you know, it's very, it's very comforting knowing that they have the nurse there, um, people who know how to take care of these kids. As long as I know that she is going to be taken care of in the manner that I would be able to, then I'm golden. I'm Talk good. to some other parents out there. One last question. Tell them how important it is to help your beautiful child. There's... Uh, we all know, and we all know somebody who's got um, a, a disease, an issue, um, something. Um, but these diseases are are curable. It takes money. It takes um, the the research. And without the parents that care, the families that care, our friends, our community. Uh, we're not going to get that. Great. Thank you so much, Katie, and thank you, beautiful Allison. Help me toss it over. Can you say, "Here you go, Brendan." Here you go, Brendan. Thanks, sweetie. Oh, wow. Talk about getting upstaged. <laughs>